Hey guys, welcome back. I am getting over a bit of a cold, so please pardon my voice, but today I've got a recipe for vegan corned beef hash. This is prepared Filipino style, so this is a dish that I remember my Lola, my grandma making for me. When I was little, she would just use the canned like Libby's corned beef, so very questionable meats, but it was so tasty. I was inspired to make this recipe by Chris from Hella Herbivore. He made something similar a couple weeks back, and I've been craving it ever since, so I'll link his video down below. Go check it out. Give him a follow. He makes awesome, creative, gourmet vegan recipes. That's where I got the inspiration for today's video. I'm going to show you the couple tweaks that I've made to my version. I used a package of Beyond Burgers for this. It's just the most convincing beef substitute I've found so far, but if you can't find these or you don't like them, feel free to use any kind of beefy crumbles. Part of what gives corned beef its distinctive flavor is that it's cured in a brine with a bunch of different pickling spices. So things like clove, ginger, cardamom, mustard, and I'm mixing a bunch of those ground spices here. This is more than you need for the recipe. You'll have a little bit of extra, but this way you can just add however much you want depending on how strong you want the corned beef flavor to be. I have a large russet potato that I peeled and cubed and this takes the longest to cook, so I'm starting it first in a pan over medium high heat little bit of olive oil, give it a splash of water, cover it and steam it so it cooks on the inside as well. After a couple of minutes, once the potato is tender, I uncover it, I let the water cook off, let the potatoes brown a bit, and then I add some sliced onion and some garlic. I saute those for a couple of minutes. The heat is still on medium high. I'm adding a little bit of extra water just so that they don't burn to the pan, I'm trying to avoid adding extra oil because the Beyond Burger is quite greasy, so I don't want to add too much oil before that. Once my onions and garlic have softened up and gotten super fragrant and taken on a little bit of color, I add in my Beyond Burger and break that up in the pan with my spoon. Then you'll add in some of your corned beef spice mix. Again, depending on how strong you want the corned beef flavor to be, it's actually totally tasty without any of the spices, but I ended up adding about two teaspoons of the mixture. After stirring in my spices, I continued to cook the mixture for a couple minutes just until the Beyond Burger started to brown and crisp up a bit. I also added in a chopped tomato and while I was chopping it, I scooped out the seeds and the juice just so that I wouldn't be adding a bunch of extra liquid to my hash. And for the tomato, you'd really just want to add it in and give it a stir until it's warm through. You don't want to cook it too much. And that's all there is to it. Super simple recipe, super savory and comforting and hearty, and you can eat it as is, but of course I had to serve it over rice the way that my Lola would make it for me when I was a little kid. I also ended up adding some spicy habanero ketchup by Melinda's, which I've been obsessed with lately. So good, I highly recommend you try this. If you do, make sure to tag me in a photo on Instagram. Everyone have a happy and safe St. Patty's Day this weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.